I recently made a fish tank using bamboo for my axolotl. I even built a cave for her to sleep in. Do you think she's going to like it? Let's find out. I always start with substrate in my tanks because it provides essential nutrients for plant growth. This will help our bamboo grow. Topping it off with white sand will give our tank a crisp and clean look. It's important to remember that you shouldn't use sand unless your axolotl is larger than 3 to 4 inches in length. This is because it can cause infection. My axolotl Lucy has grown up so fast. It's recommended that axolotls have at least a 20 gallon tank, so it's definitely time to upgrade Lucy. Here I am giving her blood worms, but it's important to feed a varied, nutritious diet. I knew I wanted to add another cave into Lucy's tank since she loved her first one. Caves provide a comforting place for axolotls to hide and sleep. I use this food safe basket, slate rock, and fish safe silicone to build the cave. My goal is to make it look as natural as possible. Don't forget to allow 24 hours for the silicone to cure. This is important to keep your axolotls safe. I chose to place the cave in the corner of her tank so she has plenty of room to swim. Time to start planting the bamboo. Bamboo is great in cold water fish tanks, which make it a perfect fit for axolotls since they require water temperature between 60 and 64 degrees Fahrenheit. Bamboo also has several practical purposes. It is an efficient cleaner for your tank and will quickly soak up nitrates and other chemicals. Let's add some finishing touches to the tank. A few pieces of siri stone on top and dotted around the entrance of the cave will help create that natural look that we're going for. One question I often get is why do I spray the tank down before filling it up? While there are a couple of reasons I do this, it's primarily to prevent the plants from drying out while I prepare to fill the tank. The tank is looking good and coming together nicely. It's time to fill it up. The key to a clear fill is to make sure your water isn't hitting the sand directly. I always make sure the water is hitting a rock so it's not disturbing the sand. My favorite plants to use are low light plants as they're easier to maintain. Java ferns should be placed in between the rocks and not planted directly into the substrate. Let's add our filter before we cycle the tank. This is an external canister filter and it's my personal favorite for any type of fish tank. Don't forget to check that water temperature. Remember, axolotls require cooler temps. This tank took about three weeks to cycle and Lucy is finally ready for her new home. It looks like she's really loving her tank. I can't wait to see her sleep in her new cave. 